Today on Amateur Kitchen, Chris and I are making some prime rib. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. This is Grandma Lucan's recipe, so you know it's going to be good. And I have Chris here to help me. Well, actually, I really have you here because I want to show everybody that you don't have to know how to cook to make prime rib. What do you mean by that? Well, you know. <laughs> it means I'm not that good in the kitchen. It, it means, means right? he's an amateur. So, even more so than Maria and I. But no, I wow. wanted you to come on to, to help me with this today. And um, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get started on making this prime rib. salt and pepper we got two teaspoons of each so go ahead and put it all in okay. and then we're going to add in a tablespoon hold your hand out of uh, rosemary and we just use dry rosemary one tablespoon and then just kind of crumble it up like this crumble it oh like this yeah oh okay. it helps release the flavors when you do it like that okay and then what i want you to do smells wow. good doesn't it does it? smell good stir it around okay and then i have some water right next to you and um, you're just going to kind of put enough water in there to make it a paste. Okay, so kind of like a gluey paste. Because what we're going to do, we have a little over four pounds, very, very carefully, a little, little bit at a time. We have a little over four pounds of a rib roast here, and you can use four to six pounds, depending on how many you want. And then we're going to kind of paste this paste all over it before we put it in the oven. And it's going to make amazing flavor. Mm -hmm. Right? Absolutely. Yeah, just a little more. All right, all right. Okay. And so, uh, one thing I wanted to show you, we actually got this from our butcher. And you know what they asked if I wanted was the ribs cut off of it because we got the bone-in rib roast. And they asked if I wanted the ribs cut off of it. I was like, heck no. That's where all the flavor is, right? Really? And um, he said, well, what we can do is we can cut it off and we'll retie it back on. So then when it's done, you can go ahead and snip the, um, that's good, snip the uh, string and boom, you don't have to carve around it. So it is very convenient. So we have our rib roast right here. All right, so we have our rib roast on this pan, on a broiling pan that, you know, comes with your oven underneath the oven every time you buy a new oven. You could also use a roasting pan too and put a little rack on there for it to sit on. So go ahead and just take, you're gonna get dirty. There's no okay. easy, pretty way of doing this. So just okay. take your fingers and just kind of smother it all Morning. around. Yep. And if you need to make more, go ahead and make more. And this is really just a, it's not super flavorful, this kind of coating. It's really just to kind of seal in all those juices and get it just amazing. Um, and while Chris is doing that, I'm just going to pour in a cup of water to our pan that I have lined with aluminum foil. Easy cleanup, right? And this is just going to kind of help keep it nice and moist. So you're going to do the top, the bottom, and the sides. Chris went ahead and smothered our rib roast with the paste that we made earlier, the rosemary paste, super simple. Easy guys. And before we stick it in the oven, what you're gonna wanna do is stick a thermometer in there that can you can set out on the top of the stove, right? Mm -hmm. So you can kinda watch its progress because once we stick it in the oven, you cannot open the oven door at all, says grandma. And when grandma says it, you gotta listen to grandma, guys. It, it, there's no alterations, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> you gotta stick it in the oven, leave it in there. We have our oven preheated at 350 degrees, so we're gonna bake it for one hour. Turn your oven off. An hour before you're ready to serve, go ahead and put your oven at 250 degrees and cook for an additional hour. Now, if your roast is a lot bigger than four to six pounds, you're gonna wanna cook it for an additional 20 minutes 
per pound. Of course, or until your desired doneness, right? Perfect. All right, let's head over to the oven, put this puppy in. Don't open the oven door, and you're gonna have an amazing prime rib, right? Yes, we will. In the meantime, we always want you to head to our website, amateurkitchen.tv, to find all of our recipes and videos, including this one. And we also want you to head to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash amateurkitchen, and we want you to click that like button so you can follow what we're all doing every single day, right? That's right. Let us know if you try this, what you think. Your guests are going to love it. You can definitely be an amateur with this one, right? Mm -hmm. You could do this. I can even do this by myself. Well, maybe not by myself, but he could try. It's, e it's easy, guys. Exactly. We want to see you right back here again next time on Amateur Kitchen. See you later.